Hi everyone, welcome to the Nicholas Workshop. Uh, today's video is an update on the uh, sensitive drilling machine. Um, as you all know, um, this was um, one I purchased a while back, made by um, or made by home or shop made uh, from a set of uh, George um, Thomas castings, um, and uh, although it it, it works pretty well. Uh, it's, it's been, um, you know, I've been using it quite a lot in the workshop. Um, there are some, some bits that uh, weren't the best engine, engineered in the best way, um, uh, and um, definitely could be improved um, just to make it better engineering. Whether it really would actually improve. Um, the use of the machine I'm not 100% certain but so the little update is that uh, I've got another one so this is uh, an RM no RE uh, machine if we walk you over uh, we can see um, or if we bring them both to the shop it's pretty much the same sort of height um, but it but it's got some additional features and that was what really led me to buy it um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'll just set the camera up a bit better and then we'll go through the uh, the new RE one and um, just uh, show you why why I decided to do sort of upgrade to this one okay so I'll be back in a second Okay, so we're back. Uh, I tried to set it up on the tripod, but it's probably easier just to go handheld. Um, so just looking at um, the reasons why I purchased this one, um, or upgraded from the um, uh, George Thomas one. Um, one of the uh, the things here is what we've got is a far um, better um, tensioning. I'll try and get that back into focus attention anything so you undo the uh, the the um, the hand wheel there and then it, and the uh, the two pulleys just slide backwards so that's a lot easier than the one on the other one uh, the other thing is we've got uh, a rack and pinion um, drive on the spindle to come down so again that that just I just felt that was better than um, than what the other one uh, showed um, and I think the thing that probably swayed me the most was um, we can if we take the table off what we've got is here we've got the ability so we've got graduation so we can tilt the table which I thought you know uh, the other one definitely didn't have that so um, Everything uh, on it is, I mean, oh yeah, sorry, and we've got a, um, uh, we've got uh, a graduated um, rule there, so that's allowing us to uh, just do some measuring on how, how deep we're going into a hole. Um, again, that's probably more of a nice to have than, than really uh, makes any... Uh, uh, I don't know, you know, major functionality. Um, so let's uh, just have a look at you, see if you can see the the, the branding name. So that's RE. Um, so to, to, I've just given a, a bit of a wipe over. I haven't really done anything with it. Um, and it's sitting on a, I, th I believe that's a, a oak, the base. So I think I will put it on the same base as um, the other one. Um, I've, got a, I've got another piece of wood down there to, uh, to do that. Um, and I think uh, I will utilize the motor from the other one. Um, and um, either by the time you, feel, you see this film, that, that the other one may well have already been sold. Um, it's just really uh, I don't I can't really see why I need two in here, but uh, I, I, that'll be sold without the motor, so I can just um, reuse that motor on to on on, on the new one. Um, so I think it is a, a definite uh, upgrade for sure. 
Um, uh, I will paint it and I will do um, uh, just put it in the mouth of grey as everything in the workshop is. Um, uh, I'm, not, I'm not bothered about, my understanding is the, the original ones were quite often red, well, you know, I want it to, to use, not necessarily to look like an original one. Uh, so the only uh, things I've noticed so far that uh, need a little bit of attention was this, this, uh, this is slightly bent compared with the others. So again, it doesn't stop the functionality, but it does need, it doesn't need to be done, but I'd probably like it to be done. If we look at the, uh, the pulleys, well, obviously I don't have um, the matching one that goes onto the motor. I have the one, the one on, on here, but I think I will just sell that as part of, uh, of this because it was all um, a matching set, so uh, the new owner can have that. Um, so I did think I had in stock a piece of uh, piece of cast iron to make a new pulley, but I I've just measured it and um, sadly it's it's a few mil too short. So um, I need to try and get hold of a piece of uh, cast iron that I can um, use for this job. Uh, just so I believe this is cast iron, just so it sort of matches. Um, yeah. So um, I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with it actually, um, and hopefully uh, with this the, with the original one going, uh, that will pretty much fund the um, the purchase of the new one. Um, but I do believe it's a, it is a, is an improvement. So um, yeah, I mean it's easy to get a carried away with the uh, romanticism of uh, George Thomas for us British guys you know but um, but in reality it, it's more about what what will work better in your workshop and actually give you uh, you know make your life easier in here the only thing that I did think was a bit uh, I mean I don't think all these knobs are the original ones and again I don't, you know this one seems a bit weird it's a different shape so um, Reminds me of the joke, why do rugby players have a... Uh... Oh no, 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 maybe not. Anyway, so, um, but the only thing I did think was the the retain, or, or the, the nut to loosen off, to um, twist this. So I, I wondered whether it was some sort of uh, quick releasing at some time. That doesn't, you know, I, I don't know the age of the machine, but I'm not sure nylocks were on on there when this was made um, so um, but looking at it I don't think I think there probably was a, maybe a different nut but not not probably I'm not sure how you could have spun that round because it obviously needs to be external but that was um, yeah that's the only bit that I think is probably not genuine um, but again it doesn't it doesn't actually impede on the uh, uh, so that that's that one. Mate. So all you do is move that in and out. So that's that's actually quite a nice, uh, um, a lot a lot easier than the other one. Sorry, it's not none of it's tightened up. It was just how it came out of the box. So this is obviously again, as I've mentioned, you know, with me waiting for uh, my hip operation, um, just be sort of put on the shelf until I. I uh, returned back to the workshop, um, but it was just a little update to show you uh, what I've what I've newly acquired and um, what the plans for it. I think um, uh, I think I think um, I will. Yeah, I will. I will try and get this one done fairly quickly uh, after my return to the workshop because, um, as I mentioned before. Anything relatively small in the workshop drilling, I do you tend to use this, and so I use it quite a lot. Um, and it would be nice to be using the new one rather than the uh, the the old one. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's a bit of an update on where we are with the sensitive drilling machine. Um, 
So many thanks for watching and as always stay happy, strong and healthy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio. Thank you.